that actually looks really creepy. Whoa. Just want to get a feel for it right now. The only complete skeletal remain you're going to see. Obviously, that uh, was either caused because somebody hit it. Bound in darkness and mystery, deep in the cores of the ancient rooms awaits a different and strange world waiting to be revealed. Inside the caves lies discoveries that have the power to challenge our understanding of history, evolution, and our existence. From the mythical creatures in a Slovenia cave to the secret room behind the brows of Abraham Lincoln, these are the 15 strangest things found in caves that change everything. Number 15. Baby Dragons you have heard of dragons spitting fire, but do you think they truly exist? Let's take a quick trip to the Postoina cave where a fearsome dragon is said to live. The habitats of the karst are of course surrounded by caves, shafts, intermittent rivers, lakes, and unusual springs that would erupt from the ground at times of heavy rain or floods. But one day, the powerful currents came bearing surprises as they brought to the surface some strange looking animals. It looks like a fish with snow-white skin, a long body, a long tail, and four legs. It was something extraordinary. The locals who had believed that a scary dragon lived inside the Postoina cave immediately thought these animals were baby dragons. Don't you also think they look like dragons? Even the scientists were intrigued by the animals when their story traveled far and wide. But after the scientists analyzed them, they came up with a scientific description and a Latin name. Proteus Anguinus. Don't stress your tongue, you can just call them ohms. Everything about them is unusual, even their appearance. They have long, snake-like bodies, and their length of 25 to 30 centimeters makes them one of the largest cave predators. Their skin is pale and pink in color and looks almost translucent. They have small, short legs with three digits on their forelimbs and two on their hind feet. They move around the water by snake-like twisting of their bodies, assisted by the legs. They breathe with external gills and rudimentary lungs. Although adult ohms have no eyes, they can feel everything with the help of skin receptors. They are very good at sensing their prey and their skin is also very sensitive to light. They can go without food for up to 12 years and have a lifespan of up to 100 years. Number 14. Cave of Crystal Maidens now this one is not only strange, but scary too. When you learn how to get to this cave, you wonder why anyone would want to be there. This jungle cave in the Tapir Mountain Nature Reserve is accessible via an hour's ride from San Ignacio, Belize, and a walk for another hour across shallow rivers and through the jungle. Here, one arrives at the Aktun Tunichil Muknal, or ATM, cave mouth. But before you can gain access to the cave, you have to swim in and then wade up the cave river for another kilometer. But from there, you won't walk too far before you find skeletons of humans that had been sacrificed by the Maya to their gods more than a thousand years ago. Skeletons range in age from one year old to adult. Four of those sacrificed are infants between the ages of one and three, some stuffed into crevices and small adjoining caves. There is one child of seven, a teenager of 15 years old, a 20-year-old, and numerous adults between the ages of 30 and 45. Many of the younger skeletons show signs of cranial deformation or skull shaping, giving their heads a slightly elongated alien look. But farther into the cave is the most famous of these disturbing skeletons, the skeleton of a 17-year-old boy best known as the Crystal Maiden. If you are wondering why the skeleton belongs to a boy but it is named Crystal Maiden, it is because the owner was thought to be a female. That was because of its small size and slight frame. But after closer examination of the bones, the features suggest they belong to a male. Although some tour guides allegedly refer to it as the Crystal Prince, most still call it the Crystal Maiden. This skeleton garnered so much attention because of its positioning and the fact that two vertebrae are crushed. Researchers believe this person may have died in a particularly violent manner before being thrown or tossed onto the ground where their body has lain for at least the last 1,100 years. The skeleton has been there so long that it has completely calcified, giving the bones a sparkling, slightly plump, hence the crystal in the nickname. It is unknown why the sacrifices were made, but some believe they were to appease the rain god Chak, or possibly the gods of the underworld. Number 13, Altamura Man. As much as this looks disgusting, don't you think it also looks like unprocessed popcorn? 
It's actually not popcorn, but the remains of a man. This eerie sight was found in a cave in Altamura, southern Italy in 1993. This discovery looks complex and uneasy to explain, but the popcorn appearance is the easiest to explain. When calcite is dissolved in rainwater, it can then accumulate on the surface of the cave floor. In this case, it didn't accumulate on the floor, but on a skull. Since it is a skull discovered in Altamira, the discovery is named Altamura Man. Altamura Man is one of the most complete and best-preserved Neanderthal skeletons ever discovered. These fossilized bones, however, show that the Altamura man fell into the cave and starved to death over 130,000 years ago. When the archaeologists made this discovery, they were frustrated because of its inaccessible location. This made it extremely difficult for the scientists to study the skeleton. But of course, little is known about it. Homo neanderthalensis walked the Earth for a period of about 350,000 years before they disappeared. Although it is believed that they overlapped with Homo sapiens geographically for a period of more than 30,000 years, they lived in what's now Europe and parts of Asia before they disappeared about 40,000 years ago. Number 12. Hidden Knights Templar Cave This hole had been hiding less than a meter under a farmer's field, and when it was eventually discovered, what was hidden in it shocked the whole world. Inside this hole are caves called the Shropshire Caves, they were said to date back around 700 years when they were used by followers of the Knights Templar, a medieval religious order that fought in the Crusades. These images were taken by photographer Michael Scott from Birmingham, who set out in search of the historical wonder after seeing a video of it online. Some of the chambers are so tiny that you can't walk into them. Instead, you have to enter them on hands and knees. The Knights Templar was a wealthy order of knights created in 1129 by the Pope, who wore distinctive white mantles with a red cross over their armor. Its original purpose was to protect pilgrims from bandits on their journey to Jerusalem. But these caves were allegedly used as a secret place of worship. It was also reported that the owners of the caves closed them to people wanting to visit after they found they had been filled with candles, graffiti, and rubbish. According to rumors, the caves have been visited by pagans and druids wanting to hold ceremonies and are popular at solstice and Halloween. Number 11. Translucent Snail You have seen snails before now, even different types of them, but have you seen a blind snail or a translucent one? These caves contain an abundance of snail diversity. Right in the southern peninsula of Europe, these caves are home to so many different snail species because they served as a major refuge during the Pleistocene Ice Age and of the many different types is a new kind that appears to be blind. But it seems seeing is useless in this dark underground cave after all. This new species, named Zospium tholusum, is a rare species discovered in the Lucina Jama Trojama cave in Croatia, of which all of the snails are dead except one. Luckily, we can see one of these tiny translucent snails alive and active. Scientists discovered several shells of dead snails in the cave. Most of the shells discovered are only 1.4 to 1.8 millimeters tall. The shells of young snails are translucent. You can even see the snail's guts through the shell. But they become more milky white as the snails age. The snail seems to have a limited ability to move around and spends most of its time in the mud near water. What a lonely life it lived. Number 10. Indian Aliens. Can you believe these paintings are 10,000 years old? They don't look that old, right? The fact that it looks fresh is attention-grabbing, but what caught the attention of researchers isn't its age, but the picture painted on the rock. The strangely carved figures are seen holding weapon-like objects and do not have clear features. The nose and mouth are especially missing. In a few pictures, they're even shown wearing spacesuits. It wouldn't have been a wonder if this discovery didn't exist as far back as 10,000 years ago. In case you don't understand, the first spacesuit, or what looks like it, was invented in the 1930s. So how come we have something like it in this ancient painting? This discovery was made in the former central province of India, presently Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. It was the place of pre-agrarian human settlement, even before the great tectonic plate movement. This is why several sites of prehistoric cave paintings have been found in the region. Some of them are known to us like Pimbetka, where we mainly find cave paintings made by a hunter-gatherer population. 
Anthropologists working with hill tribes in a remote area made this startling discovery of intricate prehistoric cave paintings depicting aliens and UFO-type craft next to a look-alike wormhole formation in the sky. The paintings are done in natural colors that have barely faded despite the passing of years, and no one knows what the painted creatures are and also who painted them. All we know is that a few years ago, a three and a half million years old prehistoric human skull was discovered in the Athnor village of Madhya Pradesh by geologists, which means the images might be drawn by ancient humans. And who knows, maybe aliens drew themselves. Number nine, secret Freemasons hideout. Let's take a trip to the Malheur Cave in Oregon. If you've heard anything about this cave, then you must know that it is one of the creepiest spots in Beaver State. The Malheur Cave is a mysterious lava tube cave owned by the Masonic Lodge of Burns. According to reports, the Masons have been holding annual gatherings deep within this cave, and conspiracy theorists claim that this place is shrouded in mystery. In 1938, two members of the Robert Burns Masonic Lodge, Ulysses S. Hackney and Charles W. Logan, came up with the idea of holding a Freemason meeting inside this cave in Oregon. This made the first official meeting of the Masons at Malheur Cave, held on October 1, 1938. For decades, Masons from all across the country would gather within the depths of this cave for their annual Malheur Cave event. When they are done with the meeting, they clean and maintain the area for another use in the future. But of course, who wouldn't talk about a group that holds meetings in a creepy cave? According to local legends, Native Americans believed that this cave was a passageway to the underworld. Some theories claim that the Malheur Cave played host to satanic rituals and devil worship, while some have said the cave is connected to an underground tunnel network spanning the entire United States, connecting with other caves owned by Freemasons. One would have loved to take these rumors as lies, but how the cave was closed up suddenly in 2019 made it more suspicious. Number 8. Oldest Wine Anyone that knows about wines must know that wine gets better as they age. Yeah, the older the better. But how old is the oldest wine that you know? Recently, the oldest traces of Italian wine have been discovered in a cave in Sicily. Wine residues were found on a large ceramic jar that was stored nearly 6,000 years ago in the caverns of a cult site known as Monte Cronio. Monte Cronio is a limestone hill that juts out near Sicily's southwest coast. It is famous for its network of hydrothermal caves. Monte Cronio is a hot place because of steam rising from underground volcanic activity. This heat makes the galleries hot and extremely humid, with the air temperature hovering around 100 degrees Fahrenheit equivalent to 38 degrees Celsius. People have flocked to the caves for their curative, spa-like effects since the Neolithic era. In this cave, the oldest wine was found. In the past, archaeologists have discovered residues ranging from beer-making byproducts on 5,000-year-old Chinese pottery to 7,500-year-old milk fat still clinging to prehistoric cheese strainers found in Poland. They get these by using chemical analysis on seemingly empty vessels to detect residues of ancient food and drink. It was quite easy when they found large ceramic storage jars located at Monte Cronio. They tested the wine residue and now we have the oldest wine in history. Number 7. Cave Bear Icicle A team of scientists at the Northeastern Federal University in Yakutsk, Russia, discovered something fascinating in a Siberian cave, a well-preserved cave bear. It is an adult bear that lived its life sometime in the last ice age, around the same time as large animals like woolly mammoths, mastodons, and saber-toothed tigers. But how did this bear get preserved? The permafrost preserved its soft tissues, organs, and fur, making it the best preserved example of a cave bear found yet. The best scientists have seen are the bones and skulls of a cave bear. This discovery is good for the researchers because they can find out all about this bear due to its state. Better for them, around the same time, another preserved cave bear cub was found on the Russian mainland by reindeer herders working on it. These bears are a species of bear that's now extinct with the last common ancestor living about 1.2 to 1.4 million years ago. Cave bears could weigh up to 1,540 pounds, which is larger than most polar bears. The cave bear found by the scientists 
probably lived between 22,000 and 39,500 years ago. Not so much has been released about cave bears, but using the two discoveries, scientists hope to learn more about cave bears' lives. Number 6. Giant Crystals This discovery was an amazing one found below a mountain near Nica, Mexico. While miners were searching for fresh ore deposits back in the year 2000, they came across an unexpected and awesome sight. They found big milky white crystals towered around them, filling a horseshoe-shaped cave. They saw luminous beams of gypsum that are bigger than telephone poles, about 12 meters long and 1 meter wide. This got the cave named the Cave of Crystals. The cave is nestled 290 meters underground. Above it is a mountain rich in lead, zinc, and silver. Since its discovery, the cave has drawn researchers from around the world, enticing them with both rare beauty and scientific mystery. Scientists have worked hard on this discovery to answer so many questions about this cave, but it seems there's so much to do as they are now pivoting towards learning how to protect and preserve the crystals for future generations to see. To satisfy your curiosity, let's talk about how these crystals were formed. About 26 million years ago, a mound of magma strained upward through the earth beneath southeastern Chihuahua, Mexico. This rising magma created what is now a mountain near the town of Nica and forced hot, mineral-rich waters into caverns and gaps in the mountain's limestone. It was in these waters that the giant crystals of Nica were born. The cave became filled with calcium sulfate-rich water, and this calcium sulfate can form several minerals, but in the case of the one present in Nica, gypsum, to be specific selenite, which is a transparent and colorless variety, was found dominant. Over time, the gypsum began to grow slowly before becoming this massive. Now you want to start packing your bags to visit this beautiful cave. Don't bother. Apart from the fact that it is a mission impossible, the giant crystal cave once had the makings of a death trap. The cave is an inhospitable place because of its air temperature, which has climbed as high as 113 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent to 47.1 degrees Celsius. Not only that, but the humidity levels were also close to 100%. The place was so humid that a visitor who lingered too long risked having fluids condense inside his or her lungs. That can be too dangerous for you. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. From this cave came a smoke that drew an unknown man's attention. Out of curiosity, he finds his way to the entrance of the cave to find out why there was smoke there. But on getting there, he was met with a dim, flickering light which led him to keep moving. Suddenly, as if emerging from a time capsule, he saw a group of people completely disconnected from the outside world. Their existence had been confined to the rocky embrace of the cave. The people were scared of the man at first, but later he earned their trust and eventually bridged the gap between their world and the outside world. Some people have claimed that this is fiction. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Number 5. Roasted Vegetables Thanks to research, we now know some things about the earliest men, how they behaved, walked, lived, and now we know more about how they fed. In a cave in southern Africa, charred fragments were found in 170,000-year-old ashes. These fragments are the earliest roasted root vegetables yet found. The discovery shows that the earliest humans fed on lots of roasted vegetables rich in carbohydrates, similar to modern potatoes. To be specific, scientists studied the charred remains of hundreds of modern plants under a microscope over the following years, and they were finally able to identify the charcoal fragments as being the rhizomes of a plant from the genus Hypoxis. Although seeds of root vegetables and other plants have been found at an 800-year-old site in Israel where early humans lived, this find is the earliest clear evidence of roasting. The roasted vegetables eaten by our ancestors were likely white-fleshed, fairly tasty, and widely distributed, potentially sustaining hungry hunter-gatherers year-round. It is believed that hypoxis was not the very first carbohydrate-rich diet. Humans probably switched to a more carbohydrate-rich diet more than 300,000 years ago. However, this heat-treating food likely marked another huge shift in human history. We know edible plants that can be eaten raw take high temperatures to get soft. That makes it possible that prehistoric humans were eating far more starchy plants than we're aware of. Number 4. Secret Room of Mount Rushmore Who would have thought that Abraham Lincoln's sculpture was holding a secret room? 
It all started on Halloween in 1941, when Danish-American sculptor Gutzon Borglum completed the 14-year work of carving the enormous profiles of four American presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. He carved them into the southeastern face of Mount Rushmore, however, one critical element of his Shrine of Democracy sculpture was left unfinished and remains concealed from view behind Lincoln's mighty brow. Right behind the presidential lineup is an 18-foot-tall doorway that resembles the entrance to an ancient tomb of an Egyptian pharaoh. The room is empty but unbelievably large, with 75 feet in length with a 35-foot-tall ceiling. There are holes jackhammered into the walls to hold dynamite for blasting. Also, red numbers are on the walls, giving instructions for the removal of rocks, perhaps painted by Borglum himself. The sculptor intended to use this incompleted room to explain the meaning of his sculpture to future civilizations and even interplanetary visitors thousands of years in the future. The sculptor's early plans for Mount Rushmore included next to Washington's head a massive 80 by 120 foot inscription in the shape of the Louisiana Purchase. It would list nine of the most important events in the history of the United States between 1776 and 1906. But even with the most astronomical of point sizes, the text would not have been legible at great distances. Therefore, logistics required that a portion of the mountain be used for Lincoln's head. However, Borglum abandoned the inscription and instead came up with other plans to build a repository deep within the mountain that would hold some of America's most treasured artifacts and documents, such as the Declaration of Independence. Number 3. Giant Prehistoric Shark in 2020, a team of researchers discovered parts of a fossilized shark skull in the Mammoth Cave National Park, the world's longest known cave system that extends for at least 643 kilometers. Embedded in a cave wall deep underneath Kentucky were the remains of a colossal shark that cruised some 330 million years ago. Wondering what a shark was doing in a cave in the first place? While the cave might be a long way from the ocean today, the discovery shows that this part of North America was once riddled with sharks. This changes everything, as it was far from the first evidence of sharks in this cave system. It is not the first shark specimen here. The Mammoth Cave National Park Fossil Shark Research Project had already discovered over 100 individual shark specimens here. However, most of this evidence came in the form of teeth which tend to stay very well preserved throughout millennia as they're made out of the super tough substance calcium phosphate. A much rarer discovery is the skull because shark skeletons are made of cartilage, not bone. The discovery included a lower jaw, some cranial cartilage, and several teeth. The shark, thought to be an extinct species known as Saivodus striatus, was about the size of a modern-day great white, between 3.4 to 4 meters equivalent to 11 to 13 feet long. While the discovery of the ancient sharks in the Mississippi River Valley might not be totally surprising, this discovery is challenging some of our knowledge of this mysterious period in North America. Number 2. Fire-Scorched Stalagmite Deep within a French cave where no light penetrates lies two structures that have sparked the curiosity of the scientists. The structure is large rings of stalagmites. Some of them are broken, while some are arranged like the rails of old-fashioned wooden fences. The structures were nothing like the way researchers have ever seen before. They include a scattering of small, deliberately arranged heaps of stone, along with two large rings, one about 2.2 meters across and the other nearly three times that size. The rings and piles are made of about 400 stalagmites of similar size, weighing a total of 2.2 tons. Most of the forearm-sized fragments are roughly cylindrical and were intentionally broken to the proper length. The structures were discovered in the early 1990s, and at the time, scientists did not know what to make of the structure which appeared to be fire-scorched in places. After years of studying the structure, they may eventually have an answer. Scientists believe that the rings were built by Neanderthals, who learned to explore caves extensively and engaged in complex building behaviors like arranging stones. All these were believed to have happened over 175,000 years ago, which was much earlier than thought. Another big mystery is why the structures were built. 
It looks as if the Neanderthals cooked with the structure because in dozens of spots along the rings or on small heaps of stone, the rocks seem to have been discolored by the heat of ancient fires. While no one is sure why the structures were built, we do know that the discovery is the first direct evidence of Neanderthal construction and shows that they explored caves extremely. Number 1. Witch Marks Recently, researchers have discovered strange marks in Creswell Crags, an enclosed limestone gorge in the United Kingdom that houses a cave used by humans during the Ice Age. Humans were said to have used the cave during the medieval period, and they didn't leave without a mark or marks. The walls and ceilings of the cave are covered with marks known as witch marks, which are used as protection against evil spirits and witches. There are varieties of marks all over the cave, and the meaning of some of these marks have been found. There are references to the Virgin Mary in the inscriptions PM for Pace Maria and in double V engravings, Virgin of Virgins. Some marks are designs resembling boxes, mazes, and diagonal lines, and are thought to represent devices for trapping evil. These marks were inscribed into the walls between the 16th and 19th centuries, probably by generations of local people who added to the existing marks over time. There's also a possibility that these marks were created during times of crop failure or disease outbreaks to ward off every evil causing these problems. Some also believe that there's a passage to the underway in this cave. The theories surrounding these marks and caves are unending, but today we stop here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.